Hi everybody, we need to show short run and long run growth on diagrams. How can we do that? Well, we can use PPFs, which I'm going to show on the right hand side here, and we can also use our aggregate demand and aggregate supply models. I'm going to use my classical interpretations on the left here. You could also use the Keynesian interpretations that I've taught you in previous videos. Let's have a look at short run growth first then. Let's do the ADAS model first. We're going to have price level on the y-axis and real GDP on the x-axis. All we need to show here, guys, is a really simple shift to the right of aggregate demand. I'm going to do it in the most simple way possible. We have SRAS, and there's your shift of AD to the right. And then this label we equilibrate. We have P1 and Y1 initially, and P2 and Y2 as the new equilibria. The increase of Y1 to Y2 is the important thing that shows the increase in short-term growth. We could also show that on a PPF, which you might need to do. So we need to draw a macro PPF here. The simple way of doing it is by labeling the axis capital and consumer, right? Capital goods and consumer goods. That will be absolutely fine. Draw your concave PPF like you're used to. And all you need to show is a movement of an economy from point A to point B. All right? That is all you need to show in terms of the PPF, and that also shows short-term growth. An increase from a point inside the curve to a point on the curve. Right? That movement there is your increase in short-term growth. So that's absolutely fine. A shift to the right of AD, basically, using up spare capacity. What about long-run growth? Long-run growth is an increase in the quantity and quality of factors of production, which leads to an increase in the full employment level of output. And it's an increase in potential growth of the economy. So in your ADAS model, it's going to be a shift to the right of LRAS. I'm going to use the classical model on the left here. You could also shift the Keynesian LRAS to the right. That would be fine too. And in terms of PPF, it's going to be an outward shift of the PPF. So let's get cracking with the ADAS diagram. I mean, price level on the y-axis and real GDP on the x-axis. I'm going to keep this one really simple. There's LRAS1 and shift that to the right to LRAS2 with a really simple aggregate demand curve. And all I want to show here is the initial equilibrium, which is P1 and YFE1, to a lower price level of P2 and YFE. That is all I need to show there, and that's the job done. That's the increase in potential growth using the ADAS model in the classical uh, interpretation of the model. And now the PPF. So same axis labeling, capital and consumer. Get your concave PPF drawn like that. Call it PPF1. And all you're looking to do is show that. And how do we show that? Well, we shift the PPF curve outwards, like that. And we'll call that PPF2. If you want to say that the economy moved maybe from point A to point B, feel free to do so with a little arrow to make that clear. All right, so short run growth, the shift of AD to the right, a movement from a point inside the PPF to on the PPF, and long run growth, the shift to the right of LRAS, or a shift outwards of the PPF. All done. Then you must check, have we labelled your axis? Yes. Have we labelled all of our curves? Yes, including our PPFs, yes. Have we labelled and shown our equilibrium very carefully? Yes, we have as well, very nicely done. Alright, so that's how you can show short run and long run growth using either the ADAS model or a PPF. Thanks very much for watching guys, I'll see you all in the next video.